to show you how to pull apart a TV remote. Now these days, they don't use screws very often to hold things together. So you're going to have to pull it apart using the, uh, to get, get it to basically snap open. There'll be tabs down along the whole thing, and it can be pretty tricky sometimes. Now you might be tempted to use a screwdriver, which might work, but what I like to use instead is something thin and plastic. That way it won't scratch or mar the plastic of the remote, you won't even know once you put it back together that anyone was in there. All right, so um, you're just gonna have to have a plan of attack of where you wanna start. You could start at an edge. Now on this remote, I found that the easiest place to start was right here at the back. See how easily that slides in there? And then you can just push it. You wanna try to push uh, outward and along the crease uh, to get the first snap to go. So now I have the first snap undone, and I'm just going to slide it down the length of the remote. Okay, so let's look right there. See, that was a snap, or a, a tab, I suppose. Okay, there's another. If I can't slide it, I'll just roll it. I'm going to come around to the other side and I'll try to make some progress there too. And this is going a lot easier because things are able to shift. Okay, so we just take a look at the progress that we've got so far. Um, it's holding on pretty tightly down towards the front. Well, now I'm gonna go ahead and pull the batteries out. Um, one reason just to make sure I don't push any buttons like turn the TV on and off and kind of stuff as I'm working but also um, you just want to check and see if they have hidden a screw down there on this one it looks like they haven't um, but also it will free up these tabs they go from the PCB that circuit board up through and this I believe is just about ready to okay all right so now be very gentle with this because um, well, on this one they have all of the buttons here you'll see in a second when I lift this off. It's all one piece of rubber. Now, if your remote had 50 different moldings, um, then if you turned it upside down, it'd be a mess to try to figure out where they all went. All right, so now if you are opening your remote because some of the buttons aren't working, uh, you just want to Look for pads that look like they have something on them that they're not clean. Maybe there's little pieces of dirt or rubber or whatever on it. Um, and then get some rubbing alcohol and a little piece of paper, or I mean a, like tissue paper, and just wipe everything clean. When I first pulled this apart, I discovered there was a lot of gunk on this button right here. That's the source input. And just get a little bit of... Uh, rubbing alcohol and put it on a tissue and wipe it to where it's clean 
and then as soon as I put it back together, everything worked. Now the easy part, which is putting it back together, uh, I just gotta get that little LED seated. And then there are some snaps, sort of. They're weak snaps down here to hold the board in place. Now the top can go on. And just kind of go around, look at the edge, make sure everything is sitting flat. And uh, well, that's it. I'll just put the batteries back in. Now you can see everything works. Well, I hope that this has kept you from having to replace your remote. Um, so thank you for watching.